All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope uh, my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends and your family. And if you are a Muslim, I hope you have your four wives next to you. Today we are going to talk about something. Yeah, the Prophet, he said. I mean, the Prophet of Allah is the best. You know, if you go on YouTube, you will see videos speaking about this man as he is never exist like him before. I mean, this guy is no one in the whole universe. He is the best in everything. He is in the best in the ethic. He is in the best of knowledge. He is in the best of uh, teaching. He is the best father. He is the best husband. He is the best prophet. He is the final prophet. I mean, this guy is one of the kind and even his God he wrote his name on his chair his God he have or he had sent 124,000 prophet but only the name of Muhammad was written in the chair of Allah and that's very normal actually Muhammad he claimed that he was a prophet before even Adam was created Today we are going to explore one more lie from his mouth. Before we go to the lie, you know, if you see the comments, and by the way, I'm really disappointed of people, you know, like we made a video almost uh, more than 24 hours ago, and we get like 8,000 view only. If we make a shampoo review, we will have more view. We are reviewing the Prophet of Allah. So which one is more important, a shampoo? Uh, come on very disappointed if I make a video about chocolate more people will watch it look like Muhammad is not interesting to know nobody no more let us see this lie from the mouth of Muhammad what I like about Muhammad the Prophet of Islam or Qatham that he cannot keep his mouth shut and you know when you are a liar or a fool the more you talk the more you get yourself busted Allah Messenger said, the people will sweat so much in the day of resurrection. I mean, you cannot believe how much your mean, is going to be very hot. And actually, this is very normal. I mean, what do you think? It's going to be judgment. They hello, but the story is not here. They will sink 70 cubits deep into the earth and we would rise up till it reach the people mouth, uh, mouth and ears. <sighs> people, Muslims, The translation is not accurate, first of all. The translation is going to, is saying that their sweetness will be in the ground in the height of 70 cubit. It doesn't say deep down rooted in the earth, liars. And I will tell you why the Muslims, they change the translation. Because this is stupid. How tall I am, so my sweat will be 70 cubit, yet it's arriving to my ears. So in order to cover the lie, the Muslims, they say, oh, in the day of resurrection, their sweat will sink 70 cubit deep into the earth. What does that mean? I mean, what, what do you mean? You're, you're, uh, what is that? Earth is earth, and what does that mean will sink? Sweat will sink. So here you see how they fabricate the hadith and they change the meaning. According to Muhammad, in the day of resurrection, we will sweat so much to the point we are going to be walking in a sweat and the sweat is going to be so high to the point it is 70 cubic. How how many meters 70 cubits? Somebody can uh, convert the numbers for us? 
Anybody can help? Uh, it is 70 arms. Arms, I think, is like 91 centimeter. So, 91 centimeter x 70. Interesting. This is how high our sweat will be, and this is will make the sweat goes to our ears. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim in the chat? That means I will be about 63 meter tall in the day of resurrection. What happened? Any Muslim have an idea? How the sweat will cover me only to my ears, yet it is 70 cubit high. Do you think because in the judgment day we will be is going to be so hot will expand? And Muslims, how a human being can sweat such a water? Where is the water we're coming from? I mean, do you hold inside you seventy cubit of water? Because in order to sweat such a sweetness, you have to hold such a water. Where the water will coming from? If all of you is not even maybe 70 kilograms, 80 kilograms, how you will sweat 70 cubit of water? Because in order to have the whole earth covered by sweat, we are assuming that the earth is uh, covered by water because the water, the, the sweatness is coming 70 cubit high Regardless of the stupid translation, even if they say like it's the, the, the sweat will go down in the, the ground, doesn't matter, still that will make it 70 cubit high. So 70 cubit, from where the water will come from? Sweat is a water. Where? I will let you pee. Just to help you, to give me the number, how this will happen. After you pee, and you sweat, how you can come with such a amount of liquid don't you think that this is something silly and stupid and why why we will sweat so hard to the point is going to reach our ears what is that for everybody will sweat why what does that mean the good people, the bad people, everybody will sweat. Why? So here we notice that Muhammad, as usual, he always come with something weird, silly, and nobody asks him, I mean, why? What about Muhammad himself? The sweat will cover him until his ears? The Muslim, they will say, no, no, no. Uh, Prophet Muhammad, he will be sitting in Burj Khalifa in Emirat. It will be so high. What is that for? So here he noticed that Muhammad, he fabricated stuff just to scare the hell of those Muslims. And, you know, uh, I scare you by, by silly stories. Like uh, there's a, a snake go inside the grave and a spider uh, and a scorpion. And there's two angels will come and they will hit you with the hammer. All of this is just to make them not to think about why they should not listen to him. Why? I mean, if you start thinking, then you will not be a Muslim. So the only way to keep them Muslims is to scare them, make them terrified, and this way they will not be able to function and they will not be able to think. Otherwise, I challenge any Muslim to tell me. If there is any Muslim who would like to give me a call, Live in YouTube, in uh, in Nepal talk. If there's any Muslim would like to talk to us, please feel free. So here you notice that uh, uh, I never spoke with a Muslim, and he came to me and he said, "Okay, uh, you know, I know what I'm talking about. 
I know what my prophet said. I know why he said that. No, the prophet said so. Nobody discussed why. Nobody even nobody even dared to ask the prophet why he said so. What is that? Do we have any Muslim would like to say something? Nothing. So if you go and and, uh, and read in the uh, in the hadith about Muhammad speaking about things, you will see that uh, uh, there is tons of stories Muhammad he, he said, and all of them didn't match. If I go right now in the hadith, let us do this. <clears throat> Every betrayer will have a flag in the day of resurrection. One of the two <laughs> subnature, not narrator, narrator, sorry, uh, that the flag would be fixed. Okay, where the flag will be fixed? Anyone knows where? Anyone knows where the flag will be fixed? Allah will put a flag in everyone who betray the Prophet. Where Allah will fix the flag? In his buttocks. Have you ever heard of a religion like this? Question Muslims. Why Allah will fix a flag in the buttocks of everybody? Maybe Allah will not be able to recognize the bad one from the good ones unless he put a flag there and what the flag will say Huh? Do we have any Muslim want to say something what is this so now let us collect information You will sweat the bad and the good everybody will sweat 70 cubit high Okay, and then in the day of resurrection Allah will put a flag in the buttocks. Why? Do we have any uh, any Muslim? He is expert with the buttocks story. Anyone here is a Muslim? He knew about the buttocks. Why? Why? You know, we are talking about God. And God do not need, you know. Anyone? You see here in the hadith, they hide the, the buttocks. I don't see the word buttocks. Anyone see it? They hide it in the translation. They don't, uh, they don't show it. Let us, let us find it for you. Hold on. That's why I say you cannot trust a Muslim when you translate for you the English. I mean, the English have nothing to do with the Arabic. Here we go. Now we're talking. Do you see it? Guys, do you see it or I'm lying? Does it say buttocks or I'm lying? I'm looking at the height in front of me. It doesn't say that in English. I mean, so where is the word buttocks? Okay, come on. Hello? Very important information is missing, brother. Buttocks. This is buttocks. This is not any part. So Allah will put a flag in the buttocks, in the buttocks of every, what is that? Huh? What is the hadith number? The, the, uh, okay, open the book of buttocks. Hadith, uh, uh, a title, a buttocks land. And hadith number uh, B T uh, T O uh, C K S. I mean, come on, what number? You want number for this? Here we go. This is the number. Have fun. Do we have any Muslim? So now, what we learn about the judgment day? 
everybody will sweat and then Allah will put a, a buttocks a, fla a flag in the buttocks of the one he don't like what about the one who don't he do, the one he like or sorry the one he don't like what about the one he like do he put something in his buttocks hmm any Abdul <clears throat> Look at this hadith. The Jews, they will be crawling in their buttocks. Mm -hmm. I see them crawling right now. All right. Let us see. All right, you want to see this hadith or you don't want to see this hadith? I think this one is not good for you. We don't want to see this hadith. I don't know what to say here. Look at this hadith. Allah Apostle said, The hour will not be established till the buttocks of the women of the tribe of Dawus move while going round. What, what, what is that? What, what, what? Wait, Muslims, what is that? The asses of those women will do what exactly? <clears throat> do we have any Muslim here listening? I mean, reading with us? He can translate what is this? Huh? Hello? What is this? Okay, I get it. Like there is people, they are going around the idols. Okay, what what this buttocks have to do with them? This is a sign from the judgment day. Well, this uh, this is statues does not exist. So what Muhammad is talking about? That's mean judgment day happened from long time ago. Any uh, any Muhammadan here? What is this? This is signs of judgment day now. That's too much judgment day. That's a lot. Buttocks? Okay, let us continue. You want to see more of the buttocks? All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to show you this one. It's not good for your age. Um... Uh, all of this hadith is about buttocks but not all of it is good for your age most of you are so young I'm the only one here is seven years old mature because we are we mature very early Aisha she was the mother of the believer at the age of six are you kidding me uh, 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 uh. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, okay, enough with the buttocks and stuff. Uh, do we have any Muslim have an objection for what we said? Why are Western word being used by this religion? They are not used, you know. Have you ever heard of something called uh, a friend with benefit? Friend with benefit is two people, they are not in love, but they have sex. So Islam and Western, I'm not talking about Western government, you know, they have a benefit. Islam was evil for the West for a long time, till the, till the uh, Arab, they start having oil. So now uh, they have a, fr a friend with benefit, my friend. Otherwise, nothing really changed. Money. 
You know, those, you know, there's many uh, uh, leaders in this world. It, everything for them is about money. You know, just be rich. I will, you know, even in normal life, if you go right now and you are a very decent man and you are wearing uh, uh, poor clo clothing, the guy who is in the reception of the hotel is security will kick you out. Right? He's poor like you. The guy in the security, he's a poor like you. He's a, he's a, he's a very poor man too. Otherwise, why he will no more walk in security? But he will kick you because you are poor. Poor are not welcome. Be rich, be filthy, be whatever you want, and then everybody will say to you, uh, yes, sir. As simple as that. You are welcome, you know. Uh, all Western countries, if you have $500,000 and more, they give you residency right away, and some of them even they offer you citizenship immediately. Well, but if you are a person who have a good education, you never did something wrong all your life, you spend your life studying, and you want to go to Canada, or you want to go to America, you want to go to Australia, no, you are not welcome. You know, money. That's that the word of money. This is not about uh, how, you know, nobody stands with no money. It's all about money. Now, we go back to our topic. Who is a Muslim when I tell me why Muhammad, he knows so much about the Judgment Day? I mean, where he got this knowledge from? Any Muslim? How Muhammad, he knew this? Uh, as an example, uh, the Prophet, he says, that uh, in the Judgment Day, additional to the weird stuff he said about the buttocks and we will sweat, he said that the black stone will come in the Judgment Day and is going to have eyes and tongue I mean, don't you think this is really weird? Why? And where Muhammad he got this information from? Is that a Quran? You Muslim, you say to Allah, you say to us that Allah spoke to Muhammad in the Quran. He he received revelation through the middle person, the delivery guy. His name is Jibril. Okay, that's wonderful. Where in the Quran Allah he told him that in the day of resurrection, the black stone will come like this. The whole black stone story, nothing about the black stone is even mentioned in the in the whole Quran. I could not find one verse speaking about the black stone in the Quran. Where Muhammad he got the story from? And how Muhammad he can make a story like this, and you Muslims did not ask him where the source from. You, know, you want to say to me, Jibreel told him? Okay, Jibreel him told him what? Told him exactly like this? What Jibreel told him? What Allah told Jibreel, right? Correct, guys? What the Muslim they say to us, the angel they tell Muhammad what Allah said. So if this is what Allah said, this should be Quran. Any Muslim have an idea, guys? Why we have only 490? You people are still asleep. People in Indonesia they are at work now. You know, Indonesian people they love me really. Indonesian, Filipinos. In the end, the only one who don't like me is uh, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Emirat, Bahrain, Bangladesh, Somalia, Erdogan, Turkey, ISIS. I mean, should I count all the countries? That's enough, that's enough. Now, who is going to answer us? Where Muhammad he got this information from? Malaysia for sure. No, no, I know actually. I know there's a lot of people actually, you know, uh, uh, they are, you know, I, the Muslims are, I feel sorry for them. I don't, I, I will never hate them, you know. I believe, I believe that Muslims inside them, they are, you know, m many of them, they are good people. And, you know, they think, they think that they are doing the right thing. But pff, look at this. I mean, how this is, can be the right thing? You tell me. How this can be the right thing? Where this guy is coming from? Muhammad, you, the Muslim, they say to us, Muhammad, he destroyed the pagans, idols, he forbid worshiping idols, and then he kissed a stone, and then he said, the stone is going to come and have eyes, and it's going to have a tongue, it's going to talk. And not only that, it's going to witness for us in the judgment day. So now we are sweating. Huh? We remember the hate about we will sweat? So now we sweat 
and we have 70 qubit of switching more than uh, uh, 60 meters 63 meters and in the top of that uh, we have a black stone in front of us and she is putting her tongue out and she's Christian why Allah need the black stone to witness for us any Muslim can explain why Allah he need the black stone to witness for us any Muslim would like to say anything and now there's nobody no Muslims they have no comment I don't know why I think they are shy The black stone is going to have very interesting. What do you say, Muslims? Is that really true? That this is stone? By the way, I don't want to forget if any of you speak Spanish, don't forget to tell your friends about the Spanish book. And I'm very glad that the Spanish book, many people, they like it and they are enjoying reading it. And the translator, he did a very great job. But if you have a Spanish Facebook, etc., don't forget, please, uh, to share the Spanish uh, link in Amazon for the book so people will know about it. All right? More and more people. Now, this is the black stone. Let us make it bigger. Ah, this is smaller. This is the same one. Come on, we want something bigger and nicer. Size does matter. Especially for Muslims. Okay, that's better, that's better. So brother, this is the black stone. And, uh, you know, just to make you understand what Muhammad is saying, and none of you question the logic behind this, According to your prophet, this is what will happen exactly to the black stone. She will have nice, beautiful eyes. Oof, how, how hot. Huh? And she will have a very big mouth but beautiful remember brother beautiful not I mean not ugly okay and now she will have a tongue let us make the tongue in different colors so we can recognize a little bit the beauty of this part this is her tongue brother okay now the black stone in the judgment day is going to be like this and is going to talk and she have eyes question to the Muslims why she have eyes and why she is talking I think here she will have a pimple because she will talk a lot by time she will have many pimples here let us put some pimples any Muslim have an idea Why the black stone would have that? Hmm? What is this? So the prophet he said, and we take it as it is, and nobody asks why. What is this? Are we talking about God, or we are talking about cartoon for six years old kids? So look now, we have a, a, a Kaaba, which the Muslims have to go around it. We have a Kaaba which we have to bow down from the end of the earth, which we <laughs> we cannot face anyway because the earth is a flat, flat. Uh, because Allah He thought the earth is a flat, and now we have a black stone. We have to kiss, you know, and then this black stone, it used to be white and became a black. Why? Because of our sin. Hmm. And then in the judgment day, the black stone suddenly is going to have eyes. And is going to have a mouth and little tongue. And he must have an idea why. K 
can you debank Allah live out the space and the time that's that's stupid to say my friend any Muslim who says that to you is a he have no idea what Islam is about let me finish the tongue story here and then we go to the question no problem you are welcome just remind me in after we finish this one to, to talk about in case I forgot you know I'm getting old right now I'm 17 I don't even know I like I could not even get my driving license now who's a Muslim want to tell us what this is about yeah by the way um, I, I am very good in drawing uh, you know all the very well-known uh, uh, artists they learn uh, uh, drawing from me I will give you I'm, I'm very by the way I have a lot of knowledge about uh, artists too as an example Einstein Einstein was very good uh, like Picasso was good in physics and mathematics uh, Einstein was the best uh, artist uh, uh, and uh, he was my student true story Sahir Bukhari if you don't believe me uh, Jibril told me you don't like it Jibril told me look the Muslim they will say look he is lying okay how you believe in this you don't believe in the other lie I mean which one is obvious isn't it this is obvious this is a lie too hmm Anyone? Uh, a Muslim saying to me the following. Hold on. What is Muslim saying to me? Uh, Shalom alaikum from Hell CB. Let them come to Hell CB. What is that? I don't know. What does that mean? Uh, anyway, I have no idea. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Any Muslim want to say why this black stone is going to have this? This? You know, at least it's not your wife is going to have such a tongue witness for you in the day of judgment. She know all your secrets. She will know how you sleep, which side you sleep, and how much they, how, if you fart when you sleep, if you snore. I mean, that will be horrible. The black stone, supposedly, when you kiss it, she suck all the information. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to kiss it. So, how the, look, look what Muhammad said the black stone will witness for anyone who embrace it, embrace it, and touch it, you know, and kiss it. Okay, what about a person who did not kiss the black stone and embrace it? She will not witness for him. So what the point of this was no? And what she will witness for? What does that mean? He was she will say that he's, he's a good guy. He kissed me. He kissed me from here. And he, yeah, he licked my lips. What does that mean? What, and you must have explain to us. Hmm? Anyone? Do you almost don't want to say anything? What is this? Nobody? I don't know. Look at them. I mean, not even one Muslim want to say anything. You see, we like Muslims to answer. And I encourage them actually to answer. Because if you don't answer, people will say like, okay, this guy is right. So you have to show them uh, if I'm wrong. If you don't answer, if you don't share with us, and that's mean you don't want anyone to know, uh, you know, to defend your prophet. Why you don't answer? What you just did, uh, the dawn, I did not see. Did the guys the dawn, he said, did he answer? Okay, post your answer again, Mr. Dawn. I don't see your answer. We can post it again, no problem. Anyone? I'm telling you that there is many in an authentic hadith. Here we go. We play the game of an authentic hadith. Okay, I want to go with you. Guys, Mr. Dawn, he said. So, Mr. Dawn, he is trying to say 
that this is this uh, this is statement it is a lie this is statement it is a lie let me show you what he said in the screen uh, i don't know how to to make a comment come in the screen uh, like uh, brother david wood he doing his uh, broadcast i don't know what software he's using uh, i'm telling you that there is are there are many inauthentic i think you want to say an unauthentic hadith okay mr uh, don but this is a an addition, additional proof to believe that islam is a false because if islam based on the quran and the hadith and allah did not preserve the hadith so how allah is uh, islam is based on what now based on fabrication so now anyone can say oh this is a fabricated hadith Oh, I don't like this hadith is fabricated. So what this religion? You, you Muslim, you keep saying to us, uh, Islam preserved and etc. But here we go, the teaching of your prophet, we do not know which one is true and which one is not true. And now look what happened. I will tell you what happened. Because this hadith is very embarrassing. It sounds stupid. So what do you say? You say it is uh, not true. But who said it's not true? Who said that to you? Even your scholar did not say that. Read. It's accepted and it, have, it has a rank. And this is Sahih al Turmudi. So it's Sahih. Who said to you it's not true? Anything, anything you don't like, you say it's not true. As simple as that. Any embarrassing hadith is not true. Huh? Any Muslim? What about the Quran? The Quran they started saying now the Quran is full of lies. It's not the whole Quran is not is not a true. The true Quran is not this because why? Because we find the Quran is full of crazy stuff, right? So are you going to say to me the if hadith? Okay, I will, I will I will give you a try, Mr. Don. I like Mr. Don. He sounds like a nice guy. Mr. Don, can you give me a chapter in the Quran which you believe does not have any lie? Any chapter you want. And I will show you the lie there. Look how sure I am. Any chapter you want. What do you think, guys? You see how strong the challenge? Any anything. You have 114 chapters. Choose one. Which chapter you think have no lies in it? Choose one. The best one. The one which is impossible to find a lie in it. Which one? What do you think, guys? Isn't it, this is a good challenge? The last one? Okay, guys, he said the last one. Let us go to the last one. It was your choice, not my choice. So don't blame me later. Because in two seconds, you will say to me, eh, eh, this is a weak, uh, weak run. Hmm. The last one, guys. Uh, say I seek refuge with with the Lord of uh, the the ch ch chaser of mankind, the King of mankind, the God of mankind, and look what he said here. From the mischievant of the whisperer, <laughs> who would draw after he whisper. The same who whisper in the heart of mankind, among the jinns, and among the men. Question, Mr. Don. You are the one who chose one this this one. Adam and Eve, they were in heaven, and Allah He kicked Shaitan out of heaven. How Shaitan he whispered to them? Do you know? Allah He kicked Shaitan out of heaven. And now the Quran here is saying he is the one who whisper. Okay. But Allah kicked Shaitan out of heaven before he whispered to them. How Shaitan was able to whisper? Are you there, Don? How he can influence Adam and Eve? They are in heaven. He's out. <laughs> Listen, Don. Adam and Eve, they are in the heaven. And the heaven is in the sky. In Islam, the heaven of Adam and Eve is not the garden of Eden down in the earth. It is in the sky. Shaitan was cast out by Allah. 
And after he cast him out, for he refused to bow down to Adam, Allah said to Shaitan, uh, after he cast him out, he said to Adam and Eve, go and live in the garden. Okay, so now Adam and Eve in the garden, Shaitan is out of the heaven. How he whispered to them? Are you there, Don? Are you searching Google? Okay, well, I, I, I want I mean, answer. You said you, uh, I asked you to give me a, a Quran does not have a mistake. According to this verse, Shaitan is the one who whisper to mankind. What is the first mankind that Shaitan he whispered to him? Adam, right? Okay, but Adam was in heaven. Shaitan was out. How he whispered to him? Do you think he was using Bluetooth? Do you think Shaitan have influence inside the heaven? Yet he is out. Well, this is against the Quran. The Quran in different verses saying if Shaitan he tried to spy at Allah, not only to enter heaven, Allah will shoot his ass by a star. Is that correct? Chapter 15, verse number 18. And by the way, this is true. I saw Shaitan, his ass is red like a chimpanzee. True story. What do you say? So how Shaitan, he cannot even listen to the heaven to get a close. Allah will shoot him before he leave the zone of the earth. And how Shaitan, he was able to get into the heaven after Allah kicked him from the heaven and he whispered to Adam and Eve. Do we have any Muslim want to help Mr. John? Mr. Don, sorry. Who is a Muslim want to help Mr. Don? Look like Dawn is giving up right away. Same time, as long you choose for us chapter number, uh, the last chapter in the Quran, I will have double check in my facts. Okay, Dawn, no problem. Here we go. The Dawn is a good guy. I told you he will check. He will check and he will leave Islam. Just wait. Dawn, as long you are the one who chose for me the last verse, last chapter, shall we go to the, to the uh, uh, verse before it? Can we? Because they complete each other. Look at this. Your God, he believe in voodoo. Your God, he believe, like the translation here is funny. Let's change translation because it says that uh, I seek, seek refuge from those who blow in the nuts. Change the translator. I mean, the translation here is really horrible. Uh, do you see it? Don, your God Allah believe that somebody can control somebody by blowing in the knot. What is that? And what is the knot can do to you? Who is a Muslim when I control me by the knot? <laughs> this is, uh, by the way, I cannot say the same. The way they do it, uh, Mimi Hijab, he do it. Uh, Mimi Hijab, he do it better. <laughs> you know? What is that? You are the one who chose those verses. Okay, now, what, so, Shaitan, he whisper, and now, uh, uh, somebody controlling by somebody, by voodoo. And what they do, they make a knot for you by rope, and they control you from far away. Control me. What about you control Trump? Control Putin. Make a knot for him. Hmm? Any uh, Mohammedan? Who want to tell me what this? This is God. This is uh, you know. This is uh, in in the old days. Naive people believe in this garbage. What somebody controlling you by the knot? Do you really believe in this, Don? Or you will say to me, this is a weak Quran. The first surah is the same. Doesn't matter. But he mentioned the last surah, so we went there. It's metaphorical. Huh? Huh? 
It doesn't say that, my friend. It says, I seek refuge, refuge by Allah from those who do evil things. By what? By blowing in the knot. Okay, tell me what the knot mean. I will go with you guys. It's a metaphorical. Metaphorical. Okay. Metaphorical for what? What the knots mean? You blow. I uh, tell me what the word blow mean and the word knot mean in the metaphorical world. In Disneyland, metaphorical land. Tell me. Now it became metaphorical. Come on, be honest. Now we can read the interpretation for the verse. All oh, the Muslims they say this is what it is. And actually, not only that, Muhammad he claimed that somebody takes some hair, I'm not sure from where, and he controlled him too. They made a, a knot for him. Let us see if we can find the hadith in English. Here we go. <sighs> Let us see. Here we go. Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih. You cannot tell me it's weak. A man called Dubayd ibn al Asam from the tribe of Bani Azurite uh, worked magic on Allah Apostle. Hey, Don, what do you think? How the how Dubayd he controlled your prophet? The Prophet of Allah is the man who protected by Allah, controlled by 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 evil, by evil uh, magic, uh, by shaitan. How this can happen? What do you say? Even your Prophet himself, he was controlled by the, by the, by the you know. What do you say, my friend? Who is the Muslim one answer? What is this? The Prophet of Allah himself was controlled by voodoo? Guys, I think I am controlled by voodoo. Look, I will tell you what happened yesterday. Yesterday I took my shower without clothing, which is really strange. I think somebody controlling me by voodoo. What do you think, uh, Don? Are you there? Prophet of Allah, he have a message sent to send the message. How somebody is controlled by the devil, he can be a prophet of Allah. Because now he will do things uh, for, the, for the devil. How he can be trustworthy? Uh, OE, uh, we can talk about it later. Text me, text me later. We can talk about your help. Any Mohammedan can tell us? Christian is an Arab, not an Israeli. Uh, what they will say, I am a Jew. Khabibi. Khabibi Muhammad. Khabibi. Khabibi. Let us talk like a Jew. Uh, I, you know, I mean, why mustn't they try to change the topic? If I am an uh, uh, whoever I am, who cares? Answer. A prophet controlled by a guy, his name is Lubayd ibn al Asam. He made a voodoo for the prophet. How? And look what they did. He got some hair in a comb. What does that mean? He got some hair from the prophet. He controlled the prophet by a comb full of hair. I wish I can get all your hair, all of you. Me. What do you say? Is that a metaphorical uh, dawn? Are you going to say metaphorical too? Anyone? Who want to answer how the Prophet was controlled? So Allah in the Quran says to you, seek refuge by Allah from the shaitan. If you say this prayer and you can fight shaitan. Allah saying to you, 
that if you recite the chapter 113, that will protect you from the, the black magic. So how the prophet was in the black magic? Was he was not uh, reading Quran? Not only this, you see Muhammad after he got uh, <coughs> controlled by the by, by the devil by by the magic. Look what had what uh, what happened to Muhammad. He started doing things which is really crazy. Let us read together. Muhammad, he started imagining uh, that he is doing things. In fact, he did not do it, including sex. Do you see it, uh, Don? Don't tell me this is not a true hadith. This is Sahir Bukhari. Once the Prophet was bewitched, very nice to meet you, bewitched Prophet. Hmm? Nice to meet you. Once the Prophet was bewitched, so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing, but in fact, he did not do. What do you say? Any Muslim want to say something? Anyone? How now we can trust Muhammad to be a prophet of Allah? If he himself, he imagined things happening to him, in fact, they have not happened. Which means if he see an angel, maybe he did not see an angel. How we can trust him? Guys, forget about this guy. He is not. He is just a kid. Aisha would lie about the prophet. Well, okay, forget about Aisha. What about different person? So everybody witnessed that this is true. Only Aisha would lie. So if Aisha would lie, okay. So now what we would do? Only a few Muslims are liars. So what we would what we would do now? Did you take Quran from Aisha too? Uh, not only that, Muhammad, he, uh, you know, he started having, uh, imagining that he have sex, but he did not, you know. Look, I mean, the story is all over. Which means even his sex was was fake. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody, even his sex have no witnesses, including no women? Hmm? Let us see where the hadith. Look, all Muhammad he said, if a person he ate seven ajwa, no poison and no magic can affect him. Okay, Muhammad he died by poison and he was under black magic. So, what we would do now? How are you, Fizz 123? How are you? You don't like the book of Exodus? Be honest with me. Fizz. Are you a fizzy man? Or you are just a fizz? Or a fuse? What do you what do you what do you think about the book of Exodus? Do you have a problem with it? So how your prophet he took an oath in the book of Exodus? 
What do you think? Who is a Muslim is willing to answer? If you are making fun of the book of Exodus in the Bible, right? Okay. No problem. So how your prophet, he make an oath in it? That means he's a false man. You Muslim don't like it. Muhammad, he like it. And he take an oath in it. And he says, I swear by you and the one who sent you. What do you say? Hmm? What do you think? Any Muslim? So in a second you will say, okay, well, my prophet, he must be right. Because either Muhammad is a liar, swearing by a, by a book which is not good for you, but for Muhammad is good, or you are the good man and Muhammad is bad. Are you there, Fiz? What do you say? The Jews, they have, you know, slavery, slavery for the Jews. The Bible says a maximum, like you, you can, you, it's like a kind of a contract. It's not like a slave servant. You work for somebody for a maximum of seven years. You will consider like a slave. But you, you, or like you have a control of your household. A person, he, you have to pay him money. You don't have money back. So what they do? I have no money. Look, you make one of your kids to serve this man for a maximum of seven years. After seven years, this person, he have to go free. Before the seven years is older, I mean, what, what the, whatever the contract is, the agreement, before that time, the person want to go free. Okay. What is the rules of somebody who owns somebody in Islam? Did Muhammad adopt something like that? Are you there, Fitz? Hello? Hello? And always, you know, when you want to understand anything in the in the in the Old Testament, you have to connect all the this is not just one item. Is this woman she will be a slave or she will be his wife? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim have a problem? I'm here. Hello? Uh, okay, somebody asked me a question. What was the question? Ah, uh, Allah is out of the time. As long as Abdullah are not... Uh, uh, is Allah is out of the time and the space, correct? Okay, how the Muslim they can say that that's not that's false. Let us see if this is true or not. Read with me. Where is the guy who asked me the question? Read with me carefully. It says, I said, O Messenger of Allah, where was our Lord before He created His creation? He said, was above the cloud, below which was air, and above which was air. So how the Muslim, they say Allah is out of the space and out of time. Uh, Ajwa is the date, uh, palm tree date, the fruit from palm tree. Hmm? How the Muslim they say Allah is out of his creation because if Allah is underneath the cloud, above him a cloud, underneath of him a cloud, that's mean he's inside his creation. Correct? Another hadith says that Allah come down every night from the seventh heaven to the lowest heaven. Every night. 
Let us see. Do you see it? The Muslim, they say, how God can be inside this creation in order to say to you that God cannot be Jesus. Because if Jesus is a flesh, okay, that's mean uh, God created the flesh. That's what they say. So how God can be inside this creation? Okay. Look at this. Is Allah inside his creation or not, Muslims? You can call me only in Pal Talk. What what's up? Any Muslim can answer? Is Allah now is inside as a creation or out out the space? Allah come down every day in the third in, in the third part of the night, which means he is out of the time? No. He come even in the time. He himself is coming in a certain time. He is in the time. And he come where? To the lowest heaven. Where is the lowest heaven? Uh, our space here, like the zone of the earth. So how they say? How they say that Allah is out of the space and the time? And why Allah need to come down every night? Any Muslim can tell me? If Allah, he knew everything, why Allah need the... I feel poor, uh, for, for, sorry for Allah. Now, just to show you how silly this story is, give me a second. We will open Google Earth so we can share with you uh, about this just to show you how silly this story is. This story cannot be true. It's impossible. And I will tell you why. <clears throat> We are launching. By the way, if you want to learn more about the mistakes of the Quran, you can get my book, Quran and Science, in depth, which is translated to many language, languages. And the deception of Allah, both of them, they speak about these mistakes. Okay. So now this is Google Earth. Earth is not even a little dust in the space. It is nothing. Compared to the massive size of the space, that the, that the Earth is not even a dust. You know what? Let me open uh, Google Earth, uh, not uh, not uh, not in the browser. Give me a second. Better than this one. Obviously, Muhammad here is fabricating stuff about his God. All right. So this is Google Earth, as you see. And we will go, and actually, we will go uh, to the sky. Look at this sky. Billions of galaxies. Where is Allah? And how he will come to this little tiny dot in the earth? So if this if, if this sky have billions of billions and billions and trillions of stars, and each star is like in the size of maybe billion time of this earth, Allah will come down where? To the earth? What does that mean? And why Allah need to come down to the earth? To do what? 
to say who is uh, praying for me and he go from the seven heaven to the lowest heaven so that there is a seven heavens what is that seven heavens it can't be seven galaxies because there's more galaxy that's mean Allah is he's passing a very far distance every day and come to us in the third part of the night but hold on third part of the night for who hmm? Muslims third part of the night to who the earth doesn't have one time zone to say okay uh, now it's now every country have different third part of the night so Allah come in the third part of the night how many time he come then that's mean he cannot leave the earth because there's many third part of the time of the night What do you think Muslims so in order for Allah to come down first of all that to break all of Islam destroy Islam because let us make it simple let us make a drawing as usual to make it uh, easier for people to understand <clears throat> if Allah is in the seven heaven and supposedly seven heaven is the end of the world you know and there's in the end of the heaven the end it is a tree there's a tree, it's, it's a lotus tree, imagine. So, heaven number one, heaven number two, heaven number three, heaven number four, five, six, and a seven. Okay. So, Allah will come down every day from this point. Imagine. Amazing. He will come down here from this destination he will go all the way down okay so Allah he go through heaven number one heaven number six seven six five uh, uh, four, three, etc. Until he arrived to heaven number one. Okay. In heaven number one, what Allah he do? He stand there. This is heaven number one. Nice to meet you. Number one. All right. So now Allah is here in the third part of the night. Okay, Muslims, which one is the third part of the night? You want to help me here? Where? Where is going to be the third night or the third part of the night? Muhammad, he think that the whole earth have one time zone. Correct, people? Because there's no way Allah will come only for the people of Mecca only. What about the rest of the Muslims? What about the Muslim who live in New York? The Prophet, he told him, Allah will come in the third part of the night. What do you think, Muslims? How this can be true? But Muhammad, because he's an ignorant man, he thought that there is only one uh, time zone, as you see. But as you see, the earth, like now, it is night in America. It is day in different countries like Australia, uh, uh, Indonesia, all of Asia, and soon, very soon in Europe. So, what what a stupid mistake! What a stupid mistake! And there is no way Muhammad is saying this statement from himself because he claimed that everything he speak of, especially about God, is coming from Allah. Okay, so that means it's not Muhammad's mistake, it's Allah's mistake. How God can be God, yet he says such a stupid thing. Anyone?
Anyone here? Who want to answer what we are saying? So Allah will come down every night in the third part of the night, and then He stand in the heaven number one, and He say, "Who is going? Who is praying for me?" So Allah go inside His creation, which proved that Muslims they lie to us when they say Allah does not go inside the creation. He is now inside His creation. In my time in USA, third part of the night is going to be maybe in in in, in three hours from now. Okay. So, in three hours from now, Allah will be here down in America. Guys, don't answer this idiot who is speaking about uh, Jesus is, was black. Those are racist, stupid people. We don't care if Jesus was black or he was uh, uh, white or only garbage people, you know, uh, think about those story. Get lost. Who cares if Jesus was black or Asian? He is my Lord. That's because you are just a, a, a stupid uh, a racist. You are just worried about the color of Jesus. You are not worried about who is Jesus. You are worried about his color because you are filthy racist. The whole Bible never mentioned the color of Jesus because this is not important. For us as a Christian, we don't care. If Jesus was uh, from the Philippines, he's my Lord. So what? What's wrong if you be an Asian? What's wrong if, if he was uh, from Africa? What that will change? Just silly, stupidity. Racist. Racism is a disease. It's an illness. It's a state of illness in the mindset of a human being. Okay, Jesus was black. Or Jesus was... So who care? That will, so what? <laughs> I mean... Even donkeys don't you don't go there. Even donkey is smarter than you. Have you ever heard of a donkey talking about white and black? Because he is smarter than you. And there you have you ever heard of a donkey? He don't wanna he don't wanna have a friendship with the black donkey with the white donkey. They are smarter than you. Have you ever heard of a goat because she is white, she will not talk to a goat, she is black? Because they are smarter than you. Stupid people. We go back to the topic. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but those people make me upset. I mean, what does this have to do with our topic? But I cannot, I cannot take it. You see, stupidity. You remember before I told you one of the things I fear, I fear is a stupidity. I feel like, uh, you know, it's like uh, 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 I, I cannot take it. And racism is one of the most disgusting stupidity human being he suffer from. There's black people, they are wonderful. There's black people, they are not. There's white people, they're wonderful. There's white people, they are not. What does this have to do with the this is garbage? My brother is the one who's good for me. Not the, not the one from my mother. The one from my mother might hurt me because I trust him. And then he, he you know, he do something wrong to you. Always those who hurt you most is the one you trust them. Right? Because of the trust, they can hurt you. The one you don't trust, I, I, I close my door, nobody can hurt me. But you are um, um, from my family, I opened the door for you. You know, I trust you, and they can hurt you more. Don't be stupid. Now, <clears throat> uh, so any Muslim want to answer about Allah coming down every day? Anyone? <clears throat> yes, my friend, Geo, Geo Free. Sorry if I didn't say your name. I don't know how to say your name correctly. 
So uh, what is the Muslims now? What we will do now? Here we go. We made a drawing for you. I changed my identity to be Picasso for 15 minutes, and now no Muslim will answer. If Allah is all knowing, Allah is all knowledgeable. Why Allah have to come down every night? And th I feel sorry for him taking the bus upside down, up down, up down, up down. What is that? I mean, what kind of a life he have? By the time he go up, he have to come back again because every few hours there is a third part of the night in different country. Hmm? Go play with your cross. Okay, I will go with my uh, play with my cross. Are you playing with your black stone? Are you going to kiss it? What go play with your cross mean? <laughs> I mean, those look at the funny answers. Go play with your cross. Why somebody sold you the cross is a football? Can you tell me, Mr. Cross, why your prophet he kiss a black stone? Mm -hmm. You tell me. Here we go. Are you pagan? Why you kiss stones? You call everybody infidel, you call everybody kafir, but yet you are the one who kisses stones and bow in front of a stone and go around the stone and you think it's a holy stone, and yet you are the one who is not a pagan. So, brother, why you are kissing a stone? Let us ask Zachary Naik to see why he kissed a stone. Uh, <clears throat> brother uh, Zachary Naik, uh, we have a, 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 a Muhammadan, and he is uh, wondering why the Prophet he kissed the black stone. First of all, the Prophet he kissed the black stone because it's holy. Okay, I think this is a good answer, Dr. Zachary Naik. But why it's holy? I just told you. That he kissed the stone because it's holy. Okay, but why it's holy? Why you said he kissed it because it's holy, but why it's holy? Because he kissed it. I mean, you are stupid. The black stone because it's holy. He kissed it. And why he kissed it? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because he kissed it. I mean, I'm really convinced, Doctor Zakir Naik. This is a very good. I mean, that said, I mean, it's like I'm asking you, who is the who is the first, the egg or the or the chicken? Exactly. And you are contemporary. You are really stupid. And you ask me question, nobody can ask. Is it obvious? The black stone is holy because the prophet gets it. Okay, and why he gets it? Because it's holy. You are really stupid. Unbelievable. So uh, the guy who is. Uh, Saying to us about the cross, can you tell us why you kiss the black stone? <clears throat> hmm? <laughs> Everybody open his umbrella. Zachary Naik is talking. <clears throat> I mean, this Zachary Naik is a certified stupid. And the funny when, when he's talking about in front of 20,000 people, and like everybody's mouth is open, like, wow, how smart our scholar. Brother, look how he, he answer. It's like an I, he have a debate with the, somebody is a Hindu. He opened for him the book of the Hindu, and he saw, told him the prophet name is here. <laughs> but 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 that name he mentioned in the book of Hindu is a demon, is an evil spirit. I mean, imagine. Zakir Naik in a in a debate, and the Muslims like like wow. The Prophet Muhammad name in the book of the Hindu brother. And the Hindus like that was oh boy. Oh boy, what this guy he just said. The guy he have a long beard, he has like a Hindu and he's saying, Oh what this guy he said. The Prophet name in the book of the Hindu and he is an evil, evil spirit, and you this and you are saying to him that. Go and watch the debate on Dai Laughing. <clears throat> So do we have any Muhammad want to tell us why Allah come down every night? I don't want to keep this drawing in the TV because it might hurt your eyes with my art. By the way, if somebody of you is very rich and you like me to draw something for you in the wall, I can do it. I mean, but it will cost you a lot. A lot. I can draw this exactly for you. Look how hard it is. I can draw exactly this drawing for you in your wall if you are very rich. Sorry, only for rich people. Uh, my service, I'm not. I'm like the prophet. My service is allowed only for the rich people. 
the Muslims, they say the Prophet, he loved the poor. Yeah, this is why in the chapter of Abasa, it says, Abasa wa tawalla in ja'ahu al-ama. He gave him a, a, a bad face when the when when the poor a, a blind man come to him. So nobody want this drawing in his face, his his, uh, his face in his wall. What's wrong with you? I was I, I thought you guys you would sign up like crazy with this beautiful art, especially when I draw Allah for you. Allah, He have one shin. Hey Muslims, why Allah He have one shin? Look, Allah have one shin. As long as they don't they don't want to talk about this. Allah have one shin and he have two hands in the where he have two hands in the right side of his body I mean that's amazing is that a birth defect or something Muhammad he will not accept that Allah he have two hands yet one is, is left and one is right and both of them they have to be right any Muslim both hands of Allah are right what happened so how he can carry his grocery like what you put two hands from one side Thank God I don't have a two hands in the right side. I can't carry my grocery by myself. I need another guy with me. But now we have a problem. What if the other guy, he have two right hands too? We need somebody to have two left hands. <clears throat> what do you think, Muslims? Don't tell me it's a metaphorical. I can prove it. It's not metaphorical. Go on search on YouTube. The guy, the sheikh, they asked the sheikh. You said that Allah have hands. He said the sheikh, he said to them. Hold on, let me find uh, uh, find his video. I'm not going to play it, but I will show you his uh, his face. The poor guy, he's like. <clears throat> yeah, this is the guy. This is the guy in YouTube. How does Allah look like? And then he says, well, Allah he has a hand. Allah he say has a hand. What I can say? I'm just I'm just saying exactly what he said. Allah he says about himself, he have hands. What I shall say? It's not me who say that. You Muslims, what's wrong? Okay, you say to us that Allah nothing like him. Allah is not a man, and then we find that Allah have two hands. Each hand have five fingers. He have a foot. He have a shin, he have a face, he have a mouth, and he have eyes. Any, any comment? Why Allah have five fingers? Hmm? So please don't remind me about fingers. The first time I came to America, I was driving in the highway. And suddenly everybody is saying hello to me, putting his hand out of the window. I was like, wow, everybody is friendly here in the highway. Everybody is saying to me hello. But they were saying to me hello with weird way. They, they, have, they have a finger. I mean, why? I don't know. But anyway, look, Allah have five fingers. Why Allah have a finger? Hello? No Muslim wanna tell us why Allah have five fingers? Nobody? Nobody knows. It must be a mystery story. Very hard to understand, you know. Allah have fingers, that's all on. And the funny there's a shake, the Muslims are flagging his video. Uh where is this guy? They flag his video so they can take it down. Yeah, I think they took his videos. They flag him because this guy is exposing the stupidity of the hadith. Where is I cannot find the hadith? His name Sheikh what? Hold on.
Here we go, this one. <clears throat> this one, his name, Sheikh Wat. I forgot really, Sheikh Wat, his name. Uh, most of his videos are flagged by Muslims. He's a Sheikh, he's a, he's a, he's a you know, uh, and you can tell like he is 99.9 .9 is a very, uh, does Allah have a human, uh, uh, Okay, what those girls are doing in the bikini? I search for Allah. Look what I get. I mean, what's wrong with my search engine? Billah. You know, I search for Allah. I get the versions. I guarantee you those girls are versions. I assure you. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> By the way, this guy in the video here in the front of you, this is the same guy. He made a video. It says why you cannot eat a swine. Why you cannot eat a pig. According to him, we cannot eat a pig because if you eat a pig, you are eating a Jew. I'm not joking. But look at Shabir Ali here. Look at this guy. He is putting his finger in his. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Salafi scholar, uh, uh, he said, describe Allah with two literal, uh, literal eyes. So what do you think him to do? Not literal eyes, but metaphorical eyes. So what's wrong with you, Muslims? This is uh, Zakir Naik. He says Allah has a form. Hmm? <clears throat> Any Muslim? Nobody? No Muslims? What happened to the Muslims? Where is the Muslims? What happened? Something happened. Allah has a leg. I wish I can play those videos for you. You will die laughing. Especially when you look at the deta details of their faces when they talk. So... <clears throat> Any, uh, any Mohammedan want to say something? By the way, but I, I, uh, I, I when I debated the guy, his name, uh, Dr. Nabil Bayekli, uh, he's the head of the Islamic Center in Tennessee. He said to me, Christian Prince, Allah have a leg. Do you think his leg is like yours? And Christian Prince, like, like, huh? Do you think really that Allah leg like yours? Yes, Allah have a leg, but do you think it's like yours? I mean, look at the answer. Allah leg is not like yours. Who cares if it's my like mine or not? Thank God it's not like mine. I'm very hairy, man. They always kick me out from the swimming pool. They think I'm swimming with my clothes. It's my uh, hair. I jump in the swimming pool. After two seconds, security guy, he says, Hey, you, why you are swimming with your clothes? So I'm glad that Allah don't like, uh, like look like me like my uh, like my leg, crazy, huh? And the funny <clears throat> when Allah he put his foot in some in the top of something, uh, his foot make a sound like farting. Let me show you the hadith. Uh, you see look at this when Allah he put his foot in the top of the hellfire the fire will say the hellfire will say kati kati do you see it this is the sound will come it happened to me many times. I put my foot in the top of something. It says "kati kati." The the hellfire is speaking to Allah, and the fill, the hellfire is asking Allah for more. Do you have more, Allah? Uh, Allah said, "Okay, wait. I will send you more." Allah, do you have more? Just wait. I will send you more. What is that? 
Allah will keep sending more until the, the, the hellfire will say to him, enough? What does that mean? It means there is more. Correct, guys? If the hellfire says to him, enough, enough, that means there is more, but it doesn't fit no more. Allah is short in space. The, the hell, uh, ha, ha, have a good news for you. Many of you will not enter the hell of Allah because the hellfire will say to Allah, Qat, Qat. that's it, there's no more space, sorry. No more space. We are overbooked. This is your prophet? Uh, yeah, and the hellfire, you know, uh, what about the death? Have you ever heard of somebody slaughtering death? Allah will slaughter death. How you can slaughter death? Hmm. <clears throat> Astonovila Seven Young. He's saying that he left Islam, him and his friend. Well, I'm happy for you, my friend. Good for you. This is Daif, but this is Sahir Bukhari, uh, Don. Come on, don't be honest. You see, anything is embarrassing for you. You agree, you agree this stupid. So what do you do? You go in denial stage. You say this is Daif. This is Sahir Bukhari. How this can be Daif? I mean, come on. Anything look embarrassing, you say uh, it is Daif. Okay, let me ask you, uh, Don. Is it true? Okay, I, there is a hadith that says that Allah will insert in your anus a 70 cubit chain. What do you think about this hadith, Don? I'm not insulting you, by the way. I'm just telling you what it says. There's a hadith that says Allah will insert in your anus, may Allah protect your anus, 70 cubit chain. And 70 cubit, not in the size of the cubit we know, because every ring of this chain have more iron than the whole earth what do you say don about this hadith do you say it's a daif is it daif made up okay guys don he said made up why how you know uh, don this is made up why you think this hadith is made up about allah inserting uh, the, the the chain in the anus why you think it's made up Allah has give ability to distinguish between truth and falsehood. Okay, so now Mr. Doan, he found that this story is a stupid. So he, Allah, he gave him ability to distinguish between the truth and the false. That's wonderful, uh, Doan. But this is in the Quran. This is not in the Hadith. What we will do now, Doan? Hmm? Doan, what we will do? This is in the Quran. Are you willing to leave Islam dawn today? Everybody saw you saying that, you know, uh, this is stupid. So what we will do now? Let's see what Don want to say. I can't see the chat. Are you there, Don? Hmm? This is the hadith. The hadith is not a hadith. It's the Quran. You said that this is stupid and this is da'if. And Allah give you the ability to recognize what is a stupid, what is not. This is Quran. So now, are you are you going to leave uh, Islam? Don't be honest. What you would do now, guys? Did he admit that this is stupid? Did he admit and he explained why it's a stupid? He says because Allah He gave us the ability to recognize what is stupid, what is not. 
Okay, this is the Quran. So now what you will say to me? You will say to me the Quran is weak? Say it. I will look into it. Well, you are looking into it. You speak Arabic. My friend, you speak Arabic. What do you mean I will look into it? And look here in the translation. They don't tell the whole story. It says they will insert in your anus. May Allah protect your anus. Put insurance on it. Uh, call guy, guy go. Huh? The Allah will insert in your anus seventy cubit. Each cubit can like can can go around the whole galaxy. Let me show you the interpretation for the verse, so you don't say I'm making things up, brother. Because you might say I'm making things up, brother. All right. And the funny look. This is a miracle, by the way. We are talking about inserting chain in the anus, and look at the number of the chapter, brother. 69 do you think this is a miracle this is like a mathematical miracle uh don't i mean why allah chose chapter number 69 uh, sorry it's uthman chose not allah chapter 69 to talk about inserting in the anus uh chain big huge chain miracle that's a miracle okay let us go now to ibn kathir okay The only Islam have miracles like this. Nobody have those things. Okay, we go now to chapter 69. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong with this website. I click at the banner. Okay, now. Finally. All right. Uh, do you have my books, uh, Dawn? Do you have my books? Get my books. Learn more, man. Come on. I mean, you speak Arabic. I have the reference in Arabic for you. Read and laugh. Here we go. So this is now Ibn Kathir explaining the verse for, for us. Ibn Kathir, not Christian prince. It says, <clears throat> Then fast in him. Then what? Then fast in him. But before we go to fast him, look at this. Then fasten him on a chain, wherefore the length of it is 70 cubits. Every ring will be equal to the entire amount of iron found in this world. Look how big this iron, the ring is. It's a chain. Listen carefully. This is a chain. Let me zoom in. Hold on. So you guys, you can see the text here. You can read it now. So, Allah will insert the chain in the anus of a human being and every ring of it is equal to the entire amount of iron found in this world. And how big this chain will be and how small your anus will be. All of this will go on your anus, don't. I mean, don't you think this is too much to believe? And not only that, the story get bigger and uh, get bigger and bigger. Okay, read with me. It will be entered into his buttocks. Here we go, we go back to buttocks. Muhammad is stuck with buttocks. We go left, we go right, we go to the sky, we go to down, we find buttocks. Okay. Allah will enter into his buttocks and he will pull it out from his mouth. Do you see it? Is it coming clear to you guys? You can read it or no? Can you read the text in the screen or should I zoom in? I wish I can draw that for you, but this is very case sensitive. So look how big the chain is. And then we insert this chain. I mean, the, the, how big the anus of a human being, how every ring of this chain have more iron than the whole world, not only in the earth. And then it will be entered into his buttocks and will be put out from his mouth and it will be arranged on this chain you will arrange like loctos Ar uh, arrange in, in a stick like barbecue Allah will make you barbecue this is the barbecue of Allah it's time for barbecue okay Ibn Abbas which is named by the, the Prophet as the best the scar of, uh, of Islam <coughs> he said 
it will be run into his behind until it's brought out of his two nostrils. If, 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 that's something. I like this. You know what? You talk about horror movie. I mean, this is better than horror movie. Out of his nostrils. And it will not be able to stand in his feet. What feet, my friend? What feet? You enter and, and in his anus, a chain, obviously, had like it weighed like billions of tons of iron. Now you are talking about standing in his chain. Are you crazy or what? And look, brother, uh, Abdullah ibn Umar, he said, Allah Messenger said, Allah, Allah, who is the one who said that? Allah Messenger. If a drop of the lead like this, which means from this chain, and he appointed to the skill bone, were sent from heaven to the earth, and it is a distance of 500 years travel. Eww. Mean. This is really way far from Walmart for me. It would reach the earth before night. 500 years, I mean, this is science, so somebody get the calculation. And if the same drop of lead were sent from the head of the chain of hell, it would travel 40 full season. Oof, how big the chain, man. How big this chain, like 40, that's, that's, okay, hold on, hold on. 500 years will be equal to one night. Calculate the number with me, how big the chain is. 500 years is equal to one night. Before the night will arrive, 500 years. Hmm. Now we have that the drop is coming from the hell. And it take 40 full season. 40 years if every day in the year is equal to 500 how much that the total anybody anybody is good in mathematics by the way I was the best in my classroom in mathematics <clears throat> I'm telling you the truth I was the best in geography mathematics music drawing everything uh, you know uh, they, they they kicked me out from the school and they told me you learn at home and that's why I was the best Sahil Bukhari, there are references if you don't believe me. Any Mohammedan here? 220,000 a year? Only? That's not much. This is how long the chain? All of this will go in the anus of Abdul? I'm so proud of you, Allah. I'm so proud of you. This is how he used the chain is. What is this? Don, are you going to leave Islam or you are staying as a Muslim now? What is this? You know, I just found an additional reason to convert to Islam. I mean, anyone can 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 get to like to think what is the reason I would say. Let us see how many of you is is really smart like me. What is the real reason now to convert to Islam after learning this? Adon is now thinking about even Islam. That's a good... Uh, you are being improved, Don. Okay, here we go. You are being honest. Okay, I hope you will leave Islam soon. Good for you. I will pray for you, my friend. Guys, what is the reason now to convert to Islam? That's why we found... No, no, no. We found, we found additional reason. Real reason. Serious reason. Uh, the buttocks. I mean, you guys, what's wrong with you? Aren't you worried now about your buttocks? Hey, you, don't put your hand there. We are talking about it, but you don't touch it. D don't even try. Don't it's, Don't do it now. I mean, later you can think about you. But now, this is will enter your buttocks if you don't convert to Islam. I told you don't touch it. What's wrong with you? So, this is what happened to you if you don't believe in Prophet Muhammad. If you like really to secure your buttocks. If you don't like to insert things in your buttocks. Uh, I'm not going to say who will love this, you know. 
that's that's a reason I mean if you don't you don't need to believe in Muhammad just say shahada to protect your buttocks it's like an insurance buttocks this is the interest of Allah he could not find a place to punish me except my buttocks maybe this is why Allah he created the buttocks look we found the hadith where Allah he will put in the flag in the buttocks of, of, of a human being now we have Quran saying Allah will enter a chain in the buttocks things is getting very uh, buttocksy actually I'm, I'm thinking to open like a, a, a convert for the sake of your buttocks website How many of you, be honest with me now, is worried about his buttocks? Hmm? Be honest. I don't know, I feel sorry for you, all of you. For me, before I, I die, I will put my finger up, the middle finger, and I will say shahada, so my buttocks will be uh, protected. Uh, anyone remember what is what else, in the uh, what will happen to the buttocks too? Uh, before judgment day anyone remember <clears throat> oh don't he got it uh, I don't you got what you got the chain or the buttocks I don't get it don't he saying to me enough with the buttocks I get it I get what you need to tell me you got what you got Islam to be stupid you got Islam uh, Muhammad is always about buttocks what do you got tell me make a sentence anyone <clears throat> anyway actually I don't want anyone buttocks to be hurt uh, to be honest with you a uh, disclaimer disclaimer I invite you all to convert to Islam otherwise your buttocks will be hurt badly uh, I did my duty I warned you and that's it you know let us change the topic okay now we will not talk about buttocks no more we will talk about 99 dragons will go inside your buttocks what do you think about this Dawn 99 dragon I mean, what what Allah He think about the buttocks of a human being? Do you think do, do, do He think like a cruise ship? Ninety nine dragon, they will go inside the buttocks of the of, of the Muslim in the, in the grave if you don't pray. And why ninety nine? And not only that, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I made a mistake. I apologize. I apologize. It is ninety nine dragon, and every dragon have seven heads. What is the total? Don, you need to go honestly now. Hey guys, uh, Don, you need to go. It's a buttocks day. Don, he could not handle the buttocks story. That's too much buttocks. I mean, I agree with you. I mean, too much. If I am Allah, I will give a promise like a buttocks for every citizen. Hmm. Hey, thank you, Sheila. I thought nobody loved me. Here we go. See, I told you, like there's at least one out of the seven billions who hate me. There's one person he loved me. Here we go. The proof in front of you is the chat. And by the way, it might be not even a real person. It might be me texting there like, I love you. Anyone watch the movie? It's called The Perfect Host. Anyone watch it? The Perfect Host. The Perfect Host is a guy he sent cards and letters to himself from his girlfriend he write letter supposedly it's his girlfriend to himself and then he read it and he believe it is his girlfriend she wrote it for him hmm? this is exactly the story of Muhammad watch it very nice movie okay okay Shobin I believe you Thank you guys. Thank you. I was joking. You know me. I always, I, uh, I always like, 
you know, I'm a person, I'm, I'm a very humble person. If I, I make fun of myself, so nobody get hurt. Especially his buttocks. <laughs> what we can do, because you, you, you make fun of somebody, he will get hurt and he will cry. So what I do, I talk about how bad I look like, how hairy I am. By the way, I don't look really bad. It's true, like when I go in an airplane, everybody leave, including the captain. <laughs> but this is not because I look so bad. I don't know what exactly the reason, uh, you know, I, I tried to find out. Uh, once he told me maybe because of your socks, because I take off my shoes always. Uh, but I, I'm trying to find out what the reason. I would think about it. Like Don, Don, he, he have to go and he would think, I would think about it too. So now what we will do, Muslims, what is that? There's a video, I don't know if you remember it, guys. It's called The Punishment of the Grave. Hilarious video. <clears throat> um, let me see if I can find it. Look, all, all of those videos is about the punishment of the grave. Look, look how many videos. Look, look, look. And the Muslims even, they have like a... Um, made up videos about like uh, back, background music of horror. They have even movies about it. Punishment of the grave. A brother, I wish I can play this for you. Look, look, look at the video here. The torment of the grave. Nu'man Khan. Ali Khan. Uh, Surah Mulk, protection from the punishment of the grave. Guys, you read this uh, Surah, Surah Mulk, uh, you uh, you protect your ass. This is very uh, uh, proven, by the way. There's many people, they die, and they told us that you read this verse, this chapter, your ass is protected. Look, punishment for ignoring prayer. This in the grave, all in the grave. You go in the grave, look, 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 look here, they put for you a black snake. Look, 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 it's because this is shaitan. And when they put you in the grave, the shaitan will have 99 heads, 90, he's a dragon, by the way, not just a snake. 99 heads, and all of them, they will go in the anus. And there is two angels, they will come, and they will hit you in your head with the hammer. Anyone remember what, uh, what, the, what they will say? Look at this guy, look at this guy. Some punishment from the grave. Look, 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 look at his face, look at his face, guys. Look at his face describing for us what will happen in the grave. Focus, focus with me. Focus, look at this. Mean. I'm, I'm scared. Look at the other guy. The punishment of the grave. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this guy. Um, unbelievable. Look, 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 look. All of those punishment in the grave. All of those thousands and thousands of videos. brother and look here they have a cartoon about the punishment of the grave two angels will come to you i wish i can play for you the videos look look at those videos look look look, look. i mean islam is very convinced i'm nearly convinced i don't know what is holding me from converting i'm not sure Huh? Yeah, I cannot search for you. What do you mean search for your video? What I would do with your video? Any Abdul? What happened after death? Huh. Two and you are dead, and now two angels will come to you. I don't know why I could not find this funny video of this guy. Let me see if I change the title here. Hold on. Still, I cannot find it. Man, 
and don't tell me they deleted it. It was a hilarious video. Actually, I used this guy video for years to show people the madness and the stupidity. All of this punch into the grave, look, in these videos. I cannot find it. Uh, this guy here, this guy is an atheist. He made a video about it, actually. But we cannot play the video. Oh, I hope you will accept this video yeah. response, brother. This morning, punishment of the grave. I was an atheist. But after hearing and watching your video, atheism is not a position that I can maintain one day longer. He converted to Islam this atheist because of the punch of the grave. I think most of my subscribers are atheists, and I, I want them to hear how you converted me to Islam. How? My respected brothers and sisters, the topic for my today's talk will be punishment. Now, this is not the real video. This is a cartoon. I mean, this is stupid. Too bad. We wanted to find the real video. Yeah. Anyway, uh, here we go. We found it. This is the video. Who want to who wanna download the video? The problem... Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Rabbi shrah li sadri. Wa yassir li amri. Wa halul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Okay, we cannot play it all. The reason for us um, being in the grave is that there is something to come. Come. They will ask you three questions. First is, there's who is your Lord? There's angels will come to you in the grave. Start from here that two angels will uh, will come. They will ask you three questions. First is, who is your Lord? Second, what is your religion? Three questions. Third, who is this person? And they will show you a face of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. The peace and blessings be upon him. Do you know him? Things are important. They will say, do you know him? Brother, they will show you the 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 the, uh, the face of the Prophet Muhammad and they will say to you, do you know him? If you, the qu three question, if you first question, you don't answer correctly, like what, who is your Lord? If you say Jesus, they will hit you with the hammer in your head. Immediately. a few of the punishments which will happen in the grave to the bad people and those punishments are <laughs> of course very fearful <laughs> and yeah. the punishment will start from here that two angels will uh, will come hmm. sallallahu alaihi wa sallam the peace and blessings be upon him when he when the angels will ask you the first question who is your lord people will answer i don't know madri madri this is uh, in Arabic, Ma'adri means, I don't know. You will ask, what is your religion? You will say, Ma'adri. Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Who is this person? Ma'adri. Ma Ma I don't know. Then the angels will hit you with a hammer between <laughs> your two ears, mean on your face. <laughs> now from here, um, if you see that those hammers will be of steel. <laughs> and it will be kind of big and quite heavy. And if you hit your face from your hand, like this, on your face, you feel a little bit of pain. And if you hit hard on the nose or on this part, you will feel a lot of pain. And think how much hard will they hit you from the hammer. They will hit you with so much force that your head will blow into parts. And then they will join again and they will <laughs> hit you again. Let us go to the last one about the last part of the story about the buttocks, shall we? The buttocks that part. Person thinks about these things that such poisonous snakes and such a poisonous scorpion is going to sting us. Oof. Snakes are going to bite us. Oof. Before you die, you need to save your grave yourselves from the punishments in the grave. Hold on, I think I skipped. Scorpion coming from the right hand side. 
And if you read the Quran, that will help you from the bottom. <coughs> you don't want to say the anus. <laughs> if you read the Quran, brother, that protect your anus, brother. If you read the Quran, that protect your anus. Did you hear it? Who want this video to download it before they take it down? Who want to download the video? Share it around. This is a priceless. By the way, he's, he's not lying. He's saying the hadith. The hadith says that. Isn't it? This guy is just reading what it says. You know? It might be sound stupid for you, but this is what the, their prophet said. All right? I gave you the hadith. Read it. I mean, the, the video. Download it. Dragons will go inside your anus. And scorpion will stink you in the grave. An angel will hit you with the hammer in your face. What do you think? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Again, this is the link for those. Who, please download it and share it around with your friends. Repost again in YouTube, post in Facebook. Let everybody see how, how crazy, stupid this cult is. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm, uh, we are done for today. I hope you guys you have a good time. As usual, I cannot keep my videos, so download it immediately after I, I close. Um, you know. So download it, share it with your friends, and post it wherever you wish. There's no Abdul, what we can do. Uh, search for Robo Christian, punishment of the grave. Hey, Robo Christian, why I need your video about punishment of the grave? I mean, do, I, do you think I need it? Anyway, I mean, am I short of information to know about the uh, part of the grave? Post your link if people would like to watch it. Post, post it for them. Uh, anyway, uh, download the videos, please, and share it around, and let everybody see. This is what they say to you, Islam and science, and, you know, this is the most stupid cult ever. You know, the problem is our ignorance. They take advantage of our ignorance about their religion and they fabricate the Quran is science. Allah spoke about science. Allah discovered this, Allah discovered that. But Islam is nothing but a collection of fairy tale stories. The most stupid stories ever you can imagine is in Islam. Ignorance is our problem. That's why the Bible says my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance, their foolishness. So don't let ignorance kill you, destroy you. All right? Don't let ignorance destroy you. Ignorance in anything, not only about religion. See? If you know, if you know if you want to, like, a, even if you want to go in the highway, you, wanna, you will have an accident. If you know by going there, you will have an accident, you will not drive today. But this is a different kind of ignorance. We can't fix but there's ignorance we can fix and things happen to us but we can fix but yet we choose not to fix it right so uh, i want to say thank you all for being here and i hope that many of you will learn and share the knowledge with your friends and i will see you again maybe tomorrow christ is lord and islam is false and if you like to read more about islam don't forget you can get my books from amazon and please, for those who speak Spanish, tell your friends, this is a new book translated, uh, tell your friends about the Spanish book, post the link in uh, Amazon. We have German, we have a French, we have a Swedish, we have Dutch, uh, and for sure we have in English. So uh, tell your friends and help us so, you know, people will not be deceived. And this is the whole point of what we do. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false, and see you soon. Bye-bye.